Hey y'all. Okay, so I just started to record this randomly, meaning I didn't plan. Normally I plan, you know, my videos out, the topics and what I'm gonna say, talking points, all that. However, I just got randomly inspired um, to record based on a video I've seen. I didn't even watch the video, but some of y'all um, who are watching may or may not have seen this video that I saw kind of doing numbers on YouTube uh, that was recommended to me and it was titled, Everyone is Broken Tired and um yeah because of inflation everyone is broken tired and people are you know frustrated people are sick and tired tired of being sick and tired and it was a compilation of people on tiktok venting about how inflation is affecting them and so i just thought hmm your girl hasn't uploaded in like three weeks <laughs> and so i just feel like i want to hop on the bandwagon 100 <laughs> percent I'm recording from um, my new home right now because I just moved like two weeks ago. However, it was not, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't sweet at all. Quick little story time. So guys, your girl had an apartment in downtown St. Louis. That's where I was and I don't mind saying that now because I'm not there anymore. Still live in the area, but I had an apartment and I moved recently. My lease was up in this summer, July 2023. And the place that I moved, was going to move into that I you know, ended up getting now was the place that I was going to live with my almost husband. So, but the issue was that plainly said, I had some issues finding a, a place. This is where everything starts to kind of go full circle. And hopefully if you've been watching some of my videos, this you know, makes sense in connection with some of the other things that I mentioned recently that I've been struggling with. But because of like past financial struggles, um, really like it was just really hard for me to get a place. If you know, you know that renting nowadays, sometimes they make you feel like, you know, you're gonna be homeless because sometimes just to get approved, it can be rough. Um, typically I would think, you know, that owning a home was, and I know it is, you know, way more extensive even still, but now renting feels like, dang, like I'm just, you know, paying rent. Like why do you need X, Y, and Z credit score to be this, make five times the rent, like, huh? <laughs> and rent is already so expensive because of inflation. So again, bringing everything full circle, like I live in an area that I feel like it shouldn't be that expensive to live in. Um, and yet a lot of times these places want you to be making good money like ooh, excuse me good money like i'm just like how y'all want me to make this amount of money just to get a one bedroom that's like 500 square feet like it's ridiculous and so i man i got to a point where my lease was up the 26th of july it was that was i think a wednesday y'all i kid you not that week i still didn't have a place to live me and my fiance had been apartment hunting, apartment hunting, apartment hunting, hustling, going to work and coming home and like applying and going to do house tours and applying and going to talk to people, scheduling more house tours and applying. And again, if you know, you know, that in itself, not only is exhausting, but it costs money. <laughs> like Some of these places charge $100 just to apply. And then again, you can still get denied and that's not refundable. So you're just dropping bread, you know, taking time to apply to these places. Um, which, you know, of course, you should exercise wisdom with doing like, you know, trying to make sure that, you know, you have a good chance of getting approved for these places and stuff. But it's just it's 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 also not that easy. <laughs> so I can kind of chuckle about it now because, you know, I have a place. I have a roof over my head. But a couple of weeks ago, it was looking real like, am I going to have to, you know, find people to stay with? Because. There was almost no way that I was going to get a place, apply, get approved, fill out the paperwork, sign the lease, do the background check, do the credit check, pack up my stuff, get, you know, moving help, all of that within four days or three days. I think even I had we had secured the place, I think, Saturday, the Saturday or Sunday before that Wednesday that my lease was up. So three to four days um, it took me before, I guess, to you know get everything done and to be able to move in by Wednesday. When I tell you guys, it was looking very much like, hey, can I, you know, store my stuff in your basement? Can I sleep on the couch until we get something? Because it wasn't looking good. But God, for all my believers out there, y'all know God be working like this sometimes. And it gets me every time. 
sometimes you know he'll make you wait to the last minute you know he wants to see if you can trust him and so he'll he'll take you there <laughs> he'll be like you trust me you trust me <laughs> and i'm just like yes but like <laughs> can we move it along <laughs> but uh again three to four days before my lease was up we got approved and over the course of that three to four days we hustled and did everything we needed to do signed the lease did all of that so that we can move in so all that to say i didn't watch that video but i can only imagine you know I, I think like as much as i do have struggles like i made a video about job struggles like apartment struggles um financial struggles just in general i am still grateful i can only imagine you know how rough it is for parents single parents uh, people with no community around them because I am also blessed just to have help, you know, people that I can call on to be like, you know, can I sleep on your couch, you know? Um, I don't take that for granted at all, whatsoever. Thank you, God. I can only imagine, you know, how rough it is for people who aren't fortunate enough, you know, to have that. Because um, I've also been there. I've like, you know, have had times where I didn't know where I was going to go before. Like the community that I have now, it was just like before they became, you know, where they became that community it was like okay i don't know what's about to happen you know but god took care of me throughout everything and that's just the bare minimum like if you are adulting right now in 2023 in this current state in this current economic what am i thinking of there was a word y'all <laughs> in this current economic uh, climate that's the word if you are an adult, adulting right now in 2023 in this current economic client, climate, okay, this just wasn't meant to be. If you're adulting right now, <laughs> then you know that everything is affected, like and everything is going up, groceries, gas, like gas is, oh my gosh, it's been so expensive here, um, more expensive than what it normally is. And groceries also, I find them just like, it is so hard to just have basic meal you know like i don't eat crazy food like just get a couple of vegetables and chicken breasts it's like ridiculous for me just to like shed light on my personal situation and how um i do my best that's exactly why i love trying to do things that i know will you know i think it's a trade-off but i know will keep me secure in the sense that i can you know pick and choose how much i'm making like i have some type of control more control i feel like over my future um for those of you who don't know, I am a nanny. I've made videos about that in the past, so you should check them out. Um, but I nanny as my full-time job, and I work with like two to two anywhere between like two to four families on a regular basis. All of which, you know, it's kind of just like you converse with, you figure out what works between you two. Um, it's like a direct hire, you know, it's no companies or anything like that. It's considered really self-employed. You just, you know, discussing with the family, you know their needs, your needs, and all that. And uh, I do it through care.com and you can filter, you know, how much you want to be paid. You can choose your rates, um, all that good stuff. And so I feel like it gives me a really good sense of control over things. However, just like any other form of entrepreneurship, it can be a little risky. So that's just to say that, you know, things might change, you know, sooner rather than later. You might have to switch up your schedule every few months. Like for example, do y'all see this fly? Like. It's really pissing me off. Again, for example, you might have to in endure some changes. So for example, now is fall time almost that people are preparing for fall and that means that kids are going back to school. And so I'm having to you know, shift some things around, possibly even stop working with some of the families that I've been working with um, because one schedule needs, you know, one family schedule needs might conflict with another and that might mean you might have to make some tough decisions. Um, and that could really affect your stability, you know, like, hey, I actually can't babysit with this family. Or I can't babysit with this family. And so that just leaves me with this one, you know, it, it can just be tough. I think it has given me some sense of security. And so update from my last video um, or in one of the last videos that I made talking about getting fired for my nanny job. Um, I have been able to secure more work. And that is just, again, I feel like the nature of this job is that I can go and seek work when I need to. It's just like, you know, picking up a shift or um, even better yet, it's just like going on Indeed when I go on care.com and families post their schedule needs, I could just, you know, like interview, talk to people, reach out to people and 
um you know given things go well i can probably secure a job fairly quickly so yeah enough about nannying um i just wanted to come on and share just about how much i can relate in my experience with all of this like inflation and of course do what i often like to do on my youtube channel which is to share a relatable perspective um and that is one of a you know single in terms of you know like taxes <laughs> single um gen z young girl um out of college 23 um living in the city trying to make it happen trying to make it work i will say slight plug for marriage it helps so much uh marriage if you didn't know you know because i feel like and i'm gonna go into a whole nother video about this but if you didn't know marriage guys can really take you next level in terms of just stability even wealth it is definitely one of the markers i think of a wealthy family is marriage don't you you know there are people who are who are the type to come on and be like it don't matter you can be broken married you can be this that's not what i'm saying but just like home home ownership just like home ownership is kind of one of the those um, markers of wealth so is marriage um just because in general just like having a roommate anytime you live with someone but even more so anytime you're legally tied to someone um is binding as that might sound there's a lot of cushion and help there um and so there's also a lot of support and benefits you know that you get get to share each other's benefits in a lot of ways so anyways man share in the comments if y'all can relate i know most of my viewers i'll be looking on my youtube uh stats and let me move over so y'all don't see the mess that's on my kitchen counter <laughs> i know in my youtube stats i think most of my viewers are um near my age like millennial um and older half of gen z um some younger probably too which is fine i welcome everybody hey y'all um but if you can relate specifically you know if you are taking care of yourself in this in this harsh 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 climate um share you know in the comments down below i would love to start conversations and maybe even share about things that you're doing to combat this or um ways that you're trying to take next steps you know to secure your family's stability um I'm sure it would, you know, would definitely be a blessing to me and I'm sure it would be a blessing to others also. I definitely have more content coming on the way. As I kind of shared, it has been a stressful, 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 stressful season. If you've been married and planned a wedding, you know. If you are adulting in 2023, you know. If you have moved, you know. <laughs> it's just all of these things um, can be stressful and all of them have been happening kind of at an intersection. For me, all of them have been um, coinciding and happening at once. So there's been a lot going on. That's why I haven't uploaded um, the last couple of weeks. Um, but I, it's really important to me, y'all, to keep going and to just keep trying, I think. And so I appreciate you all's patience. Stick with me. That means subscribe if you haven't. Um, I got a lot more stuff coming. So especially marriage content. I know people will want to see that. So the wedding is coming soon. It's almost time. Subscribe if you want to see more of that and leave a comment. Let me know down below. Thank y'all so much for watching. Um, I can't wait to see you guys in my next one.